Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to see how to interact with multiple tabs or windows using Protector. So as usual, we have this spec file where we have written this describe block and also we are loading some URL. And here we have this conf.js and that's pretty much enough I think to run this test case. And the scenario is going to be like once I click on this click here button, it is going to not the button, it is actually link text. So when I'm going to click on this, it is going to pop up a new window. Now window or tab both are technically same, nothing much differences. So when this is attached within the browser, we call it as tab. And if it's going to be out of this browser, we call it as window. But both are same, nothing much difference in terms of browser or in terms of our API, I can say both are same. Here we are using this new application and this is not an Angular application. So to interact with non-Angular applications, we have to use a method called wait for Angular, right? So here I'm going to say await browser dot wait for Angular enabled equal to false. What does it do actually is it is going to, I mean, it is not going to check for the timeouts or the Angular specific binding behavior. Here, once we click on this, we can see that my focus has been changed from this website, I mean this window to this window, right? But let us see what happens when we are going to do the same using code. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to launch this site and I'm going to print the title. And then we are going to click on this and then we are going to print the title again. So we expected the first title to be the internet and the second one to be new window, right? But let us see what going to happen. So here it is going to be very simple, I believe. So await browser. Before that, of course, we have to get the element. So element and here I can use by dot. So let me inspect and check what is this. So this like so this is link text. So anything, any text within the a tag, that is the opening of this anchor tag and this closing of this anchor tag, whatever the text present within those, I can say that is as a, that as a link text. So I'm just going to copy this. And here I can use the function called link text. And within that, I have to pass the value. Now, of course, we are going to do the click action here. So that's it. And here we have already written the await, so that's fine. Once we do the click on this, uh, but before that also we want to print the title. So I'm just going to log and await. And here I can say browser. Dot get title is the function. And similarly, once we do the click on this, here also we are going to print the title. And we know that as soon as the it block completes, the browser is going to get closed immediately. But let us give some time so that we can make sure that our window has been opened. So maybe five seconds. That's pretty much enough. Let me try to run this. Okay, so I have done a spelling mistake. Let me correct this and let me run again. Okay, so of course we didn't use the await keyword, that's why it didn't stop for the timeout. But here we can see this, we got both the title as the internet. But let us just add the await keyword here and let me try to run this again so that we can make sure we are able to get the title once the tab has been changed, right? Okay, so the browser has been launched with the internet URL and then it's also click on this and here we can see that our focus has been changed to the new window. But if I see the console here we are getting both the title as the internet. The reason is very simple whenever we are going to write our script it is always going to communicate with the first active window not the other window. So when we click on this new 
I mean this click here it is going to bring up new window here right so in the UI it seems like it has been switched its focus from the parent window to the child window but that is not going to happen in terms of code we have to write code so that it can switch its focus from the parent to the child window so for that we have a function called get window handles so let me call that so browser.get window handles and this guy is going to return me array of string so let me store that here so let maybe i can say wins and that's it right now if i mouse hover on this you can see that it is going to return as promise then string of array and we have already discussed about array in detail in our javascript videos so probably you can watch that for array references and this guy is going to return me windows of object so of course we have to use the await keyword so that the promise will be resolved then we will get only the string from this now if i'm just going to print this so console.log and here i can print this wins and then also i want to check the length of this so console.log wins dot length right so wins is nothing just an object name it can be anything so not thing to worry about it so let me try to run this again So it's going to click on the new window and we got this new window here now here in the console we can see that we got some array values with some unique numbers right this is going to be unique for each and every session i can say and for each and every tabs and then also we got this two that is our length here so we have two values in our array so of course the length is two and the title is here we can see the internet and here also the internet because of course we didn't switch our focus so so to switch the focus we have to use this method called switch to right so here i can say browser dot switch to and then we have to switch to to the window right in our last two previous video we have seen that switch to dot alert and switch to dot frame right now we are going to use this window concept here so switch to window and within the window i have to pass this string as an argument so if i hover on this here you can see promise i mean not this one so here you can see name or handle which is going to be of the string format now we know that this window handles is going to return me this string of array so from there of course i can switch to one window at a time so of course i have to pass only one window id right so i can have to pass either this or this so this is going to be represent my first window and this is going to be represent my second window now here i can say using the object so wins dot not dot so of array and from there i can give the one that is going to be my first window right so let me try to run this now and let's see what title i'm going to get okay so in the first time we got this as the internet and the second time we got this as a uh, new window right so of course we are now able to understand how to switch to a new window using the switch to function and also to get the number of browsers we can use the method called get window handles now in interview you might also face a questions like what is the difference between get window handles and get window handle okay so let me explain that so here we have another method called get window handle which is going to return only one window at a time that means window handles is going to give you the number of tabs or windows open in the current session not your previous or any other tabs what are the tabs opened within this current scenario, current session this is going to return us similarly get window handle is going to return us also the window id but the present or the active window i can see for example if i use get window handle now in this particular screen the, then this then this is going to return me this window handle but whereas if i'm going to use this and here I, if i say get window handle this is going to return us this particular window id so that means to be simple wherever we are going to use this get window handle that is going to return us the present active tab so here i can say uh, maybe parent window 
equal to this one, right? Now, usually this is used to identify the parent window. So it is always recommended to use this get window handles uh, whenever you are going to launch your site. So that consider that here we have only two tabs. So nothing much about to worry, but consider that maybe we have maybe so many like three or four windows. Then if I'm on the third window and if I want to just switch to the first window immediately, then I can use this get window handle. But of course, I have to get that in the very first whenever I'm going to launch my first tab. And then I can store this and similarly, I can use instead of Windows 1, I can use this parent window here, right? So I think you got the idea, right? Now let us also see if I'm going to pass the argument as wrong, then what is going to happen? For example, if I pass this as 2, then let's see what's going to happen. So let me clear my console and run again. So we know that we have only 0 and the 1 that is 2 browsers but I am passing the value as 2 so let us see what happens. Okay so here it says that we got um, some exception let us see here it says that unhandled promise rejection because we forgot to um, use the await keyword here but that's fine but the problem here is it says that invalid argument so this is the exception name I can say it says that invalid argument the name must be a string now this is going to be come very often whenever we are going to use the window handle and if you are going to pass this as wrong value okay so that is what it says like for example, invalid argument means we know that the value whatever we have sent there, it's nothing. I mean, it's not relevant to the expected argument. It happens because here we are passing window of three, which is going to be undefined, right? Because in our this window object, we have only two value. So in there from the length, we can understand that we have two data types of string, but here we are passing the data type as um, undefined. So of course it is going to say as invalid argument. Now let us try to add the await keyword and let us try to run this. Of course we are going to get the same thing but let me show you the differences. Okay. Now if you noticed here this time we got this as failure because we handle the promises and our script can understand that there is something wrong. Here it says that invalid argument and name was uh, name must be a two string. We got the same exception in previous time as well, but we didn't got that like an exception because if you have noticed, the test case has been passed. I mean the script has been passed, but we actually know that our script has been failed, but we didn't get the error, right? The reason is if you miss if you miss the await keyword in any of the places, then this is what going to happen. So even if your test kit is going to fail, you will not understand that actually it has been failed. So please make sure that if you are going to use this async and await, of course we have to be very cautious when we are going to handle the keywords in front of each and every line I can say. Now, of course, we have to switch to this async and await because we have already understand the advantages and also how easy it is going to be us to make our code synchronized, right? So that's it, guys. I think window handles is very easy concept. Just you have to get the window handles and based on the window, you have to pass it here. So it will go to the um, next window or the whatever the value we are going to pass. So that's it, guys. We have understand the window handle and the window handles and also we have understand the exception so that's it from my side if you have any questions please do let me know in the comment section so that i can um, make the concept more clear to you and if you like the video consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel so thanks for watching see you in the next one take care